In another hadith, the responsibility of children or people towards their mother is shown. And Abi Huraira taqal, Jaa rajulun ila Rasulillahi sallallahu alayhi sallam faqal, Ya Rasulallahi, man ahaqqun nasi bi husni sahabati, qala ummuk, qala thumma man, qala thumma ummuk, qala thumma man, qala thumma ummuk, qala thumma man, qala thumma abuk. Imam al-Bukhari and Muslim narrate a hadith through Imam Abu Huraira radiyallahu ta'ala anhu. And he says that, جَاءَ رَجُلٌ إِلَىٰ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ سَلَّمْ A man came to Rasulullah صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ سَلَّمْ and he said, O Prophet of Allah, O Messenger of Allah, Ya Rasulullah, مَنْ أَحَقُّ النَّاسِ بِحُسْنِ صَحَابَتِهِ Who amongst the people is more worthy of my best dealings? بِحُسْنِ صَحَابَتِهِ My best companionship. Who is more worthy that I should be his companion and I should be merciful to him, deal good, uh, well with him. So he said, Ummuk, it's your mother. That the best person in the world, the more, most worthy person in the world that you should be good to is your mother. He repeated the question. After my mother, who's there? He said, Thumma Ummuk, your mother again. He said, Thumma Man, then who after her? And he said, Thumma Ummuk, your mother. And he repeated the word, Thumma, Thumma Ummuk, after her, your mother again. Qala Thumma Man, he said, then who after my mother for the fourth time? And he said, Thumma Abuk, then your father. This shows that in dealing with people, the most worthy person of our goodness and ihsan is our mothers. And even the father is there because for the fourth, the fourth time, Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa mentioned the father. But for three consecutive times, when the person again and again he asked and repeated the question, who is more worthy of my dealing him or uh, the person with uh, uh, ihsan and kindness, the, the Prophet ﷺ mentioned the mother. This shows that mothers are more worthy of kindness than fathers. But you cannot omit the father and not ignore him. But he is also there. But even mother and father both we should be doing ihsan towards. But Rasul ﷺ mentioned the mother before the father. Why? Some ulama, they say that why is mother mentioned three times before the father? They say there are three things that mother are, mothers are separate from father and they, they bear some burdens. They go through some hardships with father cannot go. One is the hamil carrying the baby in their wombs for nine months. This is a very hard time for a mother. Then the time of birth, the, the, the birth pains, she goes through that and not the father. And thereafter uh, that when the child is born, for two years the mother has to feed the child. So these are the three things, carrying the child in her womb and secondly after that the birth pains and then feeding the child for two years. So these are the three things which only mother does and not the father and after that even father has responsibilities so father is also mentioned but this shows the status of mothers in Islam that they are mentioned for, uh, for the children in dealing good that they are more worthy than the father they are worthier than the father so this hadith also signifies that in Islam a woman and especially a mother has a very high status and she demands goodness, kindness and best relationship and she must be respected along with the father. Her heart should not be broken and one should not speak harsh to her and she is very uh, kind to him when he was or she was a child so he should uh, deal with her 
in the same way but in better ways فَلَا تَقُلْ لَهُمَا أُفٍ وَلَا تَنْهَرْهُمَا وَقُلْ لَهُمَا قَوْلًا كَرِيمًا قَوْلًا كَرِيمًا Allah says you should talk to your parents قَوْلًا كَرِيمًا respectfully and with kindness you should talk to them giving them respect not speaking harsh and not breaking their hearts